Good morning, GMS. I'm Grant. And I'm AJ. Welcome to the to the new GMS News Show for the week of September 19th, 2022. Congratulations on um, Emma Chop, Chop and Jack Siminski for GMS Athlete of the Month. Remember, GMS, the walk of on September 30th. Make sure you wear your tennis shoes or athletic shoes. We only have a couple days left for the pop tab collect collection competition to benefit the the Ronald McDonald House and the Wiley Hospital. So remember to bring those pop tabs. Yeah. Now for September 23rd, the Greeno Education Foundation is taking in gently or new coats, hats, gloves, and adult-sized sweatshirts. Texas Waters Woes session men butter and gift cards will be available to purchase as part of the PTO fundraiser. And now let's go to top trending. Hello, welcome to Top Trending, where we share the top weird and trending stories of the week. I'm Jada. And I'm Jesslyn. According to the Kid News, a red panda from the Adelaide Zoo was on the run for three days. Adventure-loving panda's daring three-day escape from Adelaide Zoo has come to a dramatic end. Ravi the red panda had only just moved to the zoo last week when he made a dash for freedom on Friday. Zookeeper spent hours searching the zoo in neighboring Botanic Park for celebrity-loving star attraction. He lived with the Ireland's and Australia Zoo in Queensland before moving to Adelaide. On Sunday morning, a sharp-eyed security officer noticed a fluffy red tail in Martin Bay fig tree in the park. Ravi's keepers produced a range of treats to lure him down, but sweet corn, bamboo, and dried figs were not as sweet as freedom. In a last-ditch effort, the panda was brought down with a tranquilizer dart shot by a highly trained zookeeper. Adelaide Zoo director Dr. Phil Ainsley said the furry fugitive would spend the next two to three days in a secure animal health department. Ravi, a nocturnal animal, was probably already asleep before he got him with the dart. A vet in a harness climbed in a ladder with a net to coax Ravi out of the tree and into waiting blankets by the zookeepers. An infamous UFO photo, dubbed the world's best by some, shows a huge diamond-shaped object flying over the Scottish Highlands. The so-called Calvin photograph, considered a loss for decades, was recovered after years of research by Sheff Sheffield Hallam University Associate Professor David Clark, showing what seems to be a huge angular object with a jet in the, in the distance. The image is an extraordinary piece of the overall UFO puzzle. It was taken at around 9 p.m. on August 4, 1990, allegedly by two male hikers on a hillside near Calvin in central Scotland. The unnamed hikers were reported as saying they watched while the metallic object hovering with a low hum for around 10 minutes while fighters' jets made passes in the distance. Estimated as being up to 31 meters long, they said the object shot off at high speed straight up into the sky and disappeared. That's all for Top Trending. Have a great week, GMS. Hi, I'm Lacey, and this is the GMS Roll Call. Today's question we are asking is, what comes first, milk or cereal? Milk. Cereal. I think that the milk comes first. I think that cereal is first. I believe that cereal comes first, and if you do put milk first, that is a crime. You belong in jail. 15 year sentence. You belong in there. Go. I think cereal goes first. Um. Leche. I think cereal goes first. I think that cereal comes first. If I really want the cereal crunchy, I would put the milk first. But if I want it soft, I would definitely put the cereal first. Welcome to the GMS News Show Interview of the Week. I'm Dexter McDaniel here at 7th grade language arts instructor, Mrs. Perry. How are you doing today, Mrs. Perry? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Thank you for asking. Would you like to start by telling us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Um, I'm Mrs. Perry. I'm a first year language arts teacher, um, and I grew up in Greenwood, so I actually graduated from Greenwood as well. What do you do and what do you enjoy most about teaching? Um, I 
love seeing kids learn, but I also like seeing kids grow as people. And being friends with me. True. What is your favorite place to go on vacation and why? Uh, my favorite place to go on vacation is South Haven, Michigan, because you get to go to the beach, but you don't have to drive 18 hours to get there. Okay. What is your favorite restaurant and why? Uh, my favorite restaurant is Chick-fil-A because they have the best cookies. That's my mom's favorite restaurant. Nice. <laughs> do you have any pets? If so, what are they and why do you like slash dislike it? I don't have any pets, sadly. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have a cat. Nice. Thank you for coming on our show today, Miss Perry. Have a great week. Thank you. Welcome to GMS Sports. I'm Griffin. And I'm Cameron. Let's head to this week's sports. Boys On Monday, September 19th, boys tennis versus Paul Hadley starting at 5.30 p.m. at Freedom Park. Tuesday, September 20th, boys tennis versus Center Grove Central starting at 5 p.m. at Freedom Park. Cross Country versus Indian Creek in Clark Pleasant starting at 5.30 at home. Wednesday, September 21st, girls soccer, soccer versus Clark Pleasant starting at 5.30 p.m. at GMS Field. Boys soccer versus Clark Pleasant starting at 6.45 p.m. at GMS Field. That's all for this week's sport.